welcome back to my channel. So it's now showing you how to make this card. So I'm going to be taking the stamp set by Kindred Stamps. It is the Time Ta Travel. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't link it because I couldn't find the website that I purchased it off. Um, but hopefully some of you guys will already have this set. So I'm going to be using a black card base to begin with. And I'm bringing in some Distress Oxides. And the reason I decided not to go with a white card base and then build up a galaxy background that way is because one, I didn't really have the patience and time to do so. And secondly, I realized most Distress Oxides actually have this like choky effect on black cardstock. And basically it didn't really matter whether or not it looked really bad because once I added all the splatter to the background, it totally brought everything together. So that's something that I wasn't really like happy with. The last time I tried making a galaxy background, I just didn't like how it turned out. And then I realized, you know, I need to start persevering with what I'm doing and just keep going until the end. If I still don't like it when I get to the end, then I know for the next time not to do that. So I'm just using a squeezed lemonade, crackling campfire, wilted violet and broken china. So I'm just going backwards and forwards, just adding some basic colours to this. And then I brought in my Brilliance inks, which were in... I can't actually remember, so just bear with me for a second. So it was Platinum, Planet, Starlight Black, Galaxy Gold, Graphite Black, and Moonlight White. So there's quite a few <laughs> inks. Everything I used is linked in my description as always. So once I've done this, I just stamped out the images that I want and then I'm going to colour those in and then fussy cut them out. So I will talk to you guys when I start to add my images to my card. Once I've done that, I'm bringing in the Celebrate <laughs> sentiment and using Cosmic Shimmer True White Embossing Powder with my Dovecraft Embossing Ink. I do need to purchase a new embossing ink pad because obviously this one has now slowly started to dry out and quite frankly, I don't like paying the price that I paid for this. Um, so when I first bought it, it cost me I think like £1.50 or something. The price of it now is about £5, which is quite expensive for what it is. So I did manage to find one a little bit cheaper, um, so I'm going to order that soon. So this card is actually going to be for one of my friends that I've known since like primary school. And basically, we both had in common like Doctor Who and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to heat set this real quick. And normally I don't leave in my heat setting because like obviously sometimes it all go wrong and I don't like to show that on camera but I need to start being more realistic and showing you guys what I'm doing so I'm just heat setting that real quick with my heat gun my heat gun has actually come from Hobbycraft 
So I definitely recommend checking that out. So for the TARDIS, I just used a 3D foam adhesive to prop it up. And I now have three Daleks. And basically, I wanted to do my favourite colour Dalek, which is the normal bronze colour. But I don't actually have a marker of that colour. So I ended up going with the new themed of the Daleks that come with the set. And I'm trying to work out like where I want my Daleks to go. And I know one's upside down, but at the end of the day, it's not exactly realistic things we're looking for. It's just a bit of fun. So I added some gold and silver pearls by Little Things by Lucy's. And then I'm bringing in glossy accents to add to the eye stalks, the windows, and the... I don't know what you call the top of it, but it's the top of the TARDIS where it lights up blue. So... You know, you could recreate this card and make it a light-up card with some LED lights. I haven't done that yet. I do want to do it, but like I said, it just is quite costly for what it is. Um, so if I can find a cheaper way of doing that, then I will definitely do a card for you guys. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me over on my Instagram. Also, if you would like to do a collaboration, definitely message me in my Instagram and I will get back in contact. And we can decide on what kind of card to do. It could be a theme, it could be a stamp, we use anything like that. So make sure you head over to my Instagram and message me there. But until my next video guys, stay safe and happy crafting. Bye guys.